Hello out there, Cynthia from Shadfly Lake. Well, I forgot about the school hot dog day yesterday and didn't bring over our usual kosher all beef wieners. And so my daughters ended up eating regular old hot dogs. Ugh, I nearly gagged when I heard about it. Do you know what's in those things? Do you? Well, I don't exactly know either, but it can't be good for you. Let's see here. The raw meat materials used for pre-cooked cooked products are lower grade muscle trimmings, fatty tissues, head meat, animal feet, animal skin, blood, liver, and other edible slaughter byproducts. It's worse than I thought. Edible slaughter byproducts? What in Gaia's name are those? <sighs> There's no gluten, but oh. This is exactly why I wanted to talk to you about our food choices for our children. Not to brag, but I have been very careful to provide only the best food for my family right from the start. There are many healthy options without artificial colors, preservatives, additives, and edible slaughter byproducts. Oh. I can a lot of foods from my garden every year, like these juicy red tomatoes. <laughs> we did have that one bout of food poisoning that one year, but I figured out my mistake and we've been good ever since. Well, except for that one bad batch of pickled eggs. Anyway, you, even in winter you can grow all kinds of food, like these sprouts for instance. Mm full of protein, vitamins, and fiber. And all you need is a jar and a piece of wet paper towel to sprout sprouts. And I'm not worried about bacteria because I've taken the utmost care to sanitize my kitchen. And I'm not like Tracy who drinks a glass of wine with every bite of food she eats because alcohol kills germs. <laughs> and speaking of bacteria, have some good bacteria in your homemade yogurt. It's so good and it tastes great too. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh sweet baby Jesus, how long has this been in the fridge? Oh, feed your family good healthy foods and remember everything has an expiration date. Oh, ooh. Oh, goodbye from Shadfly Lake. Oh. <laughs>